Clint and Lisa Black. Hello, friends. Hey there. Hi. How are you? I'm pretty good. I got a lot of questions for you guys. First of all, let me just say for the 100th time to you and about you, I love you very much, both of you. Uh, we love you. Yeah. Thanks. Well, now, before you say anything, Bobby, we have a really, really important announcement, okay? Okay. There's a red camera, Camry, Toyota, and the Target parking lot left its lights on. That's it. <laughs> now we can get down to business. All right. Thank you for it's that. It's on White Ridge, by Thank the way. Thank you. Okay. There he is. Clint Black. See, and that's what, you, that's what happens with Clint the whole time. you got to be ready. You don't know what's going to come at you. Yeah, you do. The, um, yeah, yeah. Important what, stuff. You're on because you have a new song, Till the End of Time. And I want to get to that, but that's that's the main reason that we're back talking professionally again. However, I have some questions leading up to this. First of all, this is a love song. I want to know you guys' love story. Like, how did you meet and how long until you knew? Well, we met New Year's Eve uh, 30 years ago, this past New Year's Eve, and we were married 10 months and 20 days later. So we knew pretty quickly. When you meet on New Year's Eve, I mean, are you at a New Year's Eve party? Are you like, what's what's the environment there? No, we were sober. <laughs> <laughs> I I was uh, I was incredibly ill at a New Year's Eve concert in Houston, where we're both from. And Lisa and her mom were back uh, back in Houston for the holidays and came to the show, and we met backstage briefly. And then we had uh, mutual friends who were matchmakers who were trying to get us together. And how long until when you guys got together and went on a first or second date? Uh, Lisa, I'll ask you, how long until you knew that Clint was the one for you? I, it happened pretty quickly. I mean, there was an immediate attraction, and then we went on our first date, and we just talked about everything under the sun, and, and we just, I don't know. You just click. You just know there's something. I think I think because we were a little bit older, you know, we weren't in our 20s. And so we'd lived quite, you know, we'd lived some life and we had a lot of relationships, you know, business and personal and social. I, I don't know. I just feel like we were more developed. And uh, and I think we just I don't know. We we did. You just hit it. up. We, we just had a feeling and we were right. It's 30 years later. I'm about to get married for the first time uh, coming up in oh, you are. a few months. Yeah, I just I got engaged like last fall. And, you know, for me, never been engaged, never been married, no kids yet. But all that's coming. But what is, you know, being together 30 years, like what do you what advice do you give, you know, a newbie like me? Well, first of all, congratulations. I mean, yeah. that's wonderful. Good for you and her um, communication. Right. Yeah, you know, when Roy Rogers heard we were getting married, he said, I'll give you one piece of advice. Don't ever go to bed angry. But did you, did you, though? There's a complicated uh, way a psychologist talked about it in a book was uh, if you look at emotions as drops of mercury on the table, you want to clear one off before another one comes along because before too long, you'll end up with a blob. You can't dissect it. You can't identify anything from the past. And so it's good to get that stuff out of the way as you go. Well, Clint and Lisa are way smarter than gonna, me. We're going to irritate each other, Bobby. We're going to embarrass each other. Uh, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to mis misread each other. And uh, you have to assume the best of your spouse and give them a chance to tell you that it was only gas. Uh, that's why I was looking at you <laughs> oh that way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> So you have to deal with it in the moment. That's my quick answer. In the moment. Don't wait. Don't, you know, you got to deal with it now and yeah. move on. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm done. I'm so done. <laughs> Clint Black, Lisa Hartman Black are both on the show right now. They have a new song called Till the End of Time, which they wrote while they were on The mass Singer. Let me play a clip of this song real quick. You were the beginning. Now, when it says you wrote it during The Masked Singer, did you write it while you were in Los Angeles, like, doing the show, or did you, like, write it at home in between tapings? How, how did this song come about? It was it was just, it was right after, and we were all talking, and uh, you know, management and everybody, uh, somebody said we should record the prayer, and we were thinking, yeah, you know, we could record one of the songs we did and then I thought, maybe I could write something new. And I beat my head against the wall for days until I finally came up with 
the opening line, which is, I can tell you how the story never ends. And that's when it all started clicking and uh, it, it just came together quickly. How did, did someone approach you two to do the mass? Because you guys were the owls, if I'm remembering correctly. What was that? Who gave you that call and what was the pitch to you guys to do it together? We were in the kitchen, actually, and Clint has a little station for his computer and an email came in and we started laughing. And and it went from laughter to hmm, maybe we're wow. gonna do this. We love the show. We you know. And then we really laughed. <laughs> <laughs> and how? You know, once you once you agree to do something outrageous, <laughs> then the giddiness kicks in. Yeah. And how's... you're laughing at yourself after that. I'm assuming it's pretty secretive when you're doing the show in real time. Like how secretive were they oh, when yeah. when you were on set or oh. near set? Everything is very, very secretive. I mean, the idea of doing something together like that seemed like so much fun. And then, like he said, you commit and, and you realize what you've taken on. And the whole secrecy thing, I mean, you dress head to toe. Nothing shows. She wore sandals to the set and they, Gave uh, they get, said you can't get out of the car with your feet showing. <laughs> your feet showing, right. So, I mean, you, really, you truly are. You're covered head to toe. They inspect you before you get out of the car. Then you go to your dressing room. Then if you leave the dressing room for something, you're back in it. So it, it's quite a... It was to the point deal. when we'd get back to the hotel and we should start to leave the hotel for something and we look around for our, you know, our suit, our covered suit. Right. And go, oh, no, we don't have, we can be ourselves. At first, it's kind of fun because you're feeling really sneaky and you're part of this, like, you know, group of, you know, it's, the sneakiness is fun. And then then it becomes a, a bit laborious. But it's fine. I mean, we we enjoyed it so much. It was great to work together like that. Do you know who the other I contestants are or is that all secret, too? Oh, no, secret. but but you could sometimes we could overhear someone else's rehearsals. And I heard one of the singers and I said to Lisa, that's Leanne. And she said, oh, maybe it is. And if she and then she had an idea, I think, of who it might be. And then we weren't sure after that. And then when we saw the show when it aired, uh, it was it was we quickly knew we knew right away. Well, listen, I hope everybody out there that's listening to me now. We'll check out Till the End of Time. It's a new song from Clint and Lisa. And, uh, hey, Lisa, let me ask you a question. What is, what's your favorite all-time Clint Black song? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, that's the hardest question. Nobody's ever asked me that. Um, oh. all of them, honey. All, all of them, honey. Oh, all <laughs> of them, honey. <laughs> well, I love... Um... I know it's tough. She something really that, likes Loosen Up My Strings. Oh, well, I, she likes yeah, that yeah, yeah. for the gym. I love Loosen Up My Strings, but I love something that we do. Yeah. But, it, I mean, there are just so many, fortunately. He's so talented, and he's written so many incredible songs. I mean, it's true. Say more stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I love something that we do. And and then uh, till the end of time. We're going to go on tour together this November, and I'm going to make her sing one of my uh Take one of my old hits and turn it into a duet, or, or take one of my old duets, uh, maybe the one with Winona. No, I'm doing all my songs from Knots Landing. She's doing her that. Knots Landing catalog. My whole catalog. So, Bobby, the name of the tour is Mostly Hits and the Misses. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> when you guys decide you're going to announce it, come in here, do a little performance. You guys can perform together. I'd love to see you guys in person once we all get that 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 shot in our shoulder. And you know I adore you until the end of time is the new song. Uh, good to talk to you guys, and hopefully I will see you, you soon, too. okay? Hey, thanks. Look Thank for you. us on PBS, by the way. Finding your roots. Find out uh, the, the terrible background of my life. Wait, are you be I don't. I never know if you're serious, Clint, ever. <laughs> I yeah. know. P PBS, February 23rd, Finding Your Roots. They look into my, uh, my family's history. And just, I'm not watching. And you're being serious. <laughs> we love you, Bobby. Congratulations okay. on the engagement. I never know. I never know if he's messing with me or not. I think he's being serious. Okay. PBS, February 23rd. <laughs> find my the history of the owl on Mass Singer. Okay, Clint. Talk to you later. <laughs> bye, Lisa. All right, bye. Love All right, you guys. Bye -bye. <laughs> uh, your favorite Clint Black song? Oh, um. Like the rain. Strong contender for me. Killing time. Yeah, but probably 
And I'm leaving here. Oh, better, better man. Better man. Probably, right? Nothing but the taillights. Mm, that one's good. Nothing. Oh, that's Come a on. jam, too. I like that bad goodbye do what he was talking about with Winona. Oh. Yeah. Woo, so good. Oh, when my ship comes in. Yeah. Jam sandwiches. It's, it's about-